Since 2005, Dwight Johnson has been living in a van around the Tri-Cities. Dwight is a rock watcher. Our crew decided to catch up with him and see what a normal day is like for someone who watches rocks. Dwight? Heck? Hey, sorry about that. I uh, didn't expect you so soon. Oh, don't want to let the horse out of the barn here. Hey, I'm Dwight DeRock. How the f are you? I'm great. You want to come in and I'll uh, I'll show you show you what I've been working on. All right. Hey there. I'm uh, I'm Dwight DeRock. Did you uh, folks have any questions for me about my career? Yeah, I was uh, wondering how would you describe your role in the the geology community. Certainly, although, you know, I, I really wouldn't say I'm part of the geology community. Uh, they, uh, you know, there's a lot of, of groupthink and closed-mindedness in any, in any community. Uh, it, geologists are no exception. Uh, I think my, uh, my work on the cutting edge has kind of made me a pariah within the group. Um, really? How so? You know, it, it reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, Galileo, how you know, he was right after all, but, you know, he was persecuted by the Catholic Church for a long time, and it was only only much later that they admitted they were wrong, and, you know, they made him a saint. Really? Uh, I don't think they made Galileo a saint. Oh, I'm pretty sure they did, but anyway, okay. I, you know, they'll, they'll come around eventually. So, uh, you know, I've been, I've been a geologist most of my life. Uh, my mother always said I was uh, rocking around uh, in utero, and, uh, and you know, I... I really started my, my formal education at the uh, University of American Samoa where I got a, my PhD uh, in uh, phrenology, uh, which you know is, is very much related to the study of rocks. It's all about reading uh, the bumps on one's skull and that'll tell you a lot about uh, that person's emotive state. And you know the same can be said for rocks. you know rocks are uh, a lot of people don't know that rocks are, are a very emotive. Uh, material, but, but they actually are. My thesis was on that, actually. Let's see, in terms of my professional accomplishments, well, I'm not really sure where to start. Uh, I guess the best place would probably be this book, which is, a. Uh, it's called Big Black Boring Rock, and it's Essays on Northwest Geology. And I actually, I was the co-author of this book. My name's not on the cover on account of this Stephen P. Rydell. He, uh, I don't know, I kind of f***ed his wife accidentally, so I, you know, I don't get credit, you know, in the book, but I was a big part of it. Um, I designed the covers, and uh, I also did a lot of the uh, the layout work on this book. So I, I really was, you know, pretty much a co-author, if not the author of this book. Can I see that book? Yeah, yeah, you bet. Take a look. I have more copies that uh, I can sell you if you want in the back here. I'm Dwight the Rock. We're down here by the Columbia Point, right on the river, where there's a boat launch and a lot of good rock specimens down here. I try to get down here every couple of days or so when the cops aren't chasing me away, because a lot of bums park down here and make a mess. You better not be stepping on any rocks back there. Notice, follow, follow in my footprints. I'm being very careful not to step on the rocks on the path. See? You f you better be doing it. I, I saw you stepped on one over there. It takes practice, but after a while you get used to it. Nice rock. Here, I'll show you. This is a piece of uh, 
Pitney's clavicus. See there? Otherwise known as holy rock. See how it has all those holes in it? These are very rare. Now what I like to do with these rocks is uh, take a reading with my machine here, measure uh, the emotive content of the rock, see if the rock is is uh, satisfied or if it's suffering, and uh, the, the frequency of the beeps determines uh, how much the rock might be suffering. So we'll, we'll take a reading on this, and you want to hold it just very flat, and then kind of wave it over like this. Oh no. Fuck. That rock is really suffering. Poor bastards. Uh, yeah, a lot of these rocks are suffering because of uh, tourists walk on them all the fucking time. And I mean, how would you like that? So I come down here just about every day and try to try to you know uh, see how they're doing, and 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 I chart it in my logbook. So much work to be done, and not enough time. I, I keep asking the other geologists to come out here and help me with this, but they don't have time all there, you know, they're all chasing tenure and, uh, you know, sucking the dicks of their, you know, deans and stuff like that. It's just, it's a real, it's a real shame. The real work, you know, the good work uh, never has enough people doing it. Good day of uh, rock hunting, but I'm pretty tired now. Got some uh, unfinished business to attend to, so if you don't mind, get the fuck out of here.